Now I will show you the procedure, uh, chemical procedure and purification of water. Um, according to the table, we found uh, the temporary hardness of water. Um, we need two, we need 4.3 uh, milliliters of coagulant in order to purify the water. Three cups. I will place 200 milliliters of water from balloon test tube number five. This is the water that I used in each cup. Now, after, after determining the temporary hardness, we found that 4.5 milliliters of uh, coagulant should be needed to purify the water. In the first cup, in order to find out which purifies better, we will put 4 milliliters, next 4.5, and, and 5 milliliters of coagulant. Now we will wait 10 minutes. Stirring the solution. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, in glass number one, the coagulant has precipitated and the water has become clear, as opposed to the second and third glass that uh, still have a high level of turbidity. Now, we can conclude that four milliliters of coagulant is of optimal concentration in order to purify the water. Now, uh, using this information and tables, we can now determine uh, how much coagulant is needed uh, for a larger amount of water.
Once again, my name is Steve Coburn. I thank you for your attention, and good luck with all of your studies. Thank you. Goodbye.